Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision as we catch up with our coaches this week. And joining us is our men's basketball coach, Mark Stricker. And Strick, you know, the grind is here. We're, we're in the midst of a five-game and nine-day stretch. A lot of positives, though, that you can take out of some of the performances out of the guys over this homestand leading into the William Jewell game tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the results aren't where we want them to be yet. Um, sometimes that happens when you have a young team and you're battling injuries and things like that. But... Our young guys have, have gained a lot of experience. Um, and Parker Long has, has been playing at an extremely high level against some great defensive teams. Um, he's, he's really coming into to himself as a college basketball player and, and the way you make plays at the college level. And he's, he's producing at a high level. And he darn near plays every minute a game because we're, we're shorthanded. And um, so his body's taking a toll, and he's getting tired. But he's a he's a tough nut, and um, he fights through it. But the numbers he's putting up are extremely impressive, and uh, we just need a few other guys to come along board with him and uh, hopefully turn this thing around. You know, and, and we talk a lot about you know this this stretch of games. You know, it's what it's a hand that's been dealt to us. How do you keep the guys fresh? How do you keep the guys? trying to get at that high level game in and game out when you're playing five games over nine days. Yeah, it's a tough balancing act because with, with such a young team and, and our lineup is changing because of injuries here and there, we've kind of had to change the way we do some things uh, scheme-wise. And so when you have five games in nine days, you need to practice because you need to work on some things. So it's been real tough. Um, but, but, but our guys have had a great attitude. Considering circumstances, they've had a great attitude. We've got a great group of guys. Um, they're happy, they smile, they like each other, and, and it's a fun group. So, so we're hoping that we continue to stay the course and get, and get better each day, and we'll see what happens. William Jewell comes in, new head coach, but you know a lot of the same things that, that we see out of William Jewell. They shoot the ball well, they rebound well, and they play great defense. Talk a little bit about tonight's matchup. Yeah, it's going to be uh, – I expect it to be a really good game. Uh, they, they can really stretch you out on the floor because they have great shooters, like you mentioned. But they've got a really big time inside presence in Eason Wiley. Uh, he's kind of a four man, but they kind of play him at the five. He's a high energy uh, offensive rebounder. He can score a lot of different ways. So the way they play, he's extremely valuable to them. So we'll have our hands full with them. Um, but I feel like we've had a great, great couple of days of prep. Uh, we're recovering. Um, and, and I think the guys are they're ready to go to go to battle tonight. And then turn around, got Rockhurst out at Rockhurst. Always a difficult place to play, you know. But once again, a team that that will do different things to you. So we're going to see a couple different looks once again here on the weekend before this this big stretch ends. Yeah, no doubt. Rockhurst is tough. Uh, we we won up there a couple years ago. Um, it was an extremely tough game. The, you know, Coach Diener's done a great job. He's he's had a lot of continuity in his program. Some of their main players have been there for two, three, four years. And when you have that at the college level, it, at the Division II level, it's a really big deal. And so th those guys know how to win. They don't beat themselves. They play extremely hard on defense. Um, and so nothing's going to be easy. So that will be a, a very difficult task on their home floor. But we're trying to just worry about tonight. And then uh, hopefully we'll have a happy bus ride on the way up there tomorrow. No doubt about it, buddy. Good luck tonight. We'll see you in a couple hours in Simon. Thanks, Jim. Mark Stricker joins us, as he always does. Once again tonight, the men will take on William Jewell. 730 will be the tip-off. Weather is going to be an issue, so we'll have it for you right on the GLVC Sports Network if you can't make it here to the Simon Center. And then Saturday out in Kansas City, you'll be able to see the guys at 3 o'clock as they take on Rockhurst on the GLVC Sports Network. Can't make either or can't watch on either? Follow us on Twitter at Maryville Saints. We'll keep you updated all weekend long on how our men are doing on their finish of their homestand and then their first game of a three-game road trip. For Coach, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always... Go Saints!